what am I doing? <laughs> I wish you guys could see where I set up this camera. I don't have any idea how it didn't just like fall into the floor. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I'm literally laughing at my like disaster. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> at least I have fast reflexes, that's for sure. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm a little bit off center and that is because on this screen right here, you guys are going to be seeing your questions that you have asked me. Now this video is definitely way overdue. I believe some of these questions are from... Some of these questions are from May and we're currently literally like almost in the beginning of October. So I'm so sorry. I suck. Okay. Well, either way, I'm not going to be doing a long intro because this video is pretty self-explanatory. It's a q and I'm going to be answering your questions. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Isma Nice. I am a YouTuber here. I used to do a lot of beauty-related videos, but now I mainly focus on my weight loss journey. If you do not know, I am a weight loss patient. I underwent VSG, which is gastric sleeve gastrectomy. It's basically where they cut 70% of your stomach and because of that you have reduced eating and because of your reduced eating you lose a bunch of weight super fast so now that we are out of the way with introductions let's begin so this first question is from miss hardfield she asks hey hun where have you been we miss you on youtube need an update so i know that i have been slacking off a lot on youtube and i do apologize for that i've been really like in a funky mood lately um but i do promise that i will try my very hardest to continue doing videos if that's what you guys really want and do not be afraid to send me some videos Video suggestions because I don't want to be redundant and do the same old thing if you guys aren't interested so send me some video ideas so this second question comes from one away cuisine yeah <laughs> she says hey honey I came across your YouTube a few days ago and oh my god I cannot believe your journey is just amazing love it you go girl I'm getting my VSG surgery in a few weeks and looking at your progress has been mind-blowing so thank you so much um, I really hope this was back in May May 21st um, so I really do hope that your VSG went well and I hope that your recovery went even better um, I hope that everything is going good for you and thank you so much for your enthusiasm I absolutely love it that gal so cray cray girl I can relate with that name <laughs> She says, you are such an inspiration. Thank you so much. You know, when I really started to record my journey here on YouTube, it was more as like a diary sake for me, just so I can remember like all that I have gone through in my life and in my journey, especially my weight loss journey. Um, but I'm just so happy that I get to, you know, inspire so many girls and some men as well. I've, I've had men reach out and I'm just so happy that I can inspire you guys and just show you my life <laughs> this question comes from Brenda Serta 11 she says please do another VSG YouTube update you look amazing oh my god again every time somebody like tells me to do an update because they just miss my videos it really hits home for me damn I, I wish I was more consistent I really really wish I was damn I suck you guys <laughs> Okay, so I'm so sorry if I butcher your name. This question comes from Dima Al Najara. I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, she says, Hi, I watch your YouTube videos and I love every single one. I'm actually getting the VSG surgery in June and your videos have helped me understand and learn more about it. And I'd love to see a new video about any updates after the surgery. Thank you so much, hun. Once again, I hope that your VSG surgery went well and so did your recovery. In regards to making more YouTube videos, like I said, you know, I need some inspiration. You guys send me video like ideas. I am so about doing pretty much anything and everything. Ari0305 says, you are truly an inspiration. I am a month post VSG and I hope to look as good as you one day you look great oh uh, thank you so so much I remember when I was starting my journey and I was really into looking into other you know people's 
VSG journeys or their bypass journeys and I just remember looking at their before and after pictures and I was honestly like oh my god will I ever be as skinny like oh I can't wait for that day when I look that good and honestly I hope that your VSG surgery went well and so did your post-op recovery this question comes from Mayam Carol wow this is a long one she said hi girl I found your page on YouTube and I wanted to say thank you so much I've been very scared about having my sleeve surgery and have been putting it off and not sure but watching your videos gave me guidance and some encouragement to go forth with it scheduled for September scheduled for September oh my goodness I wonder if you had your surgery already I just wanted to thank you for that you look great and I hope you feel great Please bless us with an update best, Maya. Maya girl, I got you with that update and I also have you here with the questions and answers video. Honestly, I really do hope that you already did your VSG surgery and I hope that everything went well. I'm sending positive vibes and once again, thank you so much for your sweet message. It really means quite a lot to me. Guys, is the lighting off a little bit? Like I suck at making videos. Oh my god, I remember when I was so good at, with the lighting and the editing. Now, I'm a noob once again. Oh my god, I'm literally like fucking tangled up in this shit. Like, I don't know how I feel about the lighting. Hopefully it's better. I don't know. <laughs> oh, whatever. If it's not good, it's not good. I tried my best. And let's just move forward. So this message is for Princess Michelle. She says, oh my god, your body looks incredible. I know this is random, but I watch you on YouTube. I got my surgery on Monday. You're an inspiration. Like I've been saying over and over again, you guys are an inspiration. I am so blessed that I get to inspire so many young women and so many young men. And just that... You know, sometimes people think that VSG or weight loss surgery is honestly like the easy way out, but people do not realize that you undergoing anesthesia, you undergoing a major surgery, you deciding to cut off 70% of your stomach, you deciding to do this whole life-changing experience is the easy way out. You know, sometimes I just want to slap the heck out of people. VSG is honestly the best, best decision that I've made in my life thus far. And without it, honestly, I wouldn't have met so many great people that I've met to this day and that I get to meet, you know, via the internet because of you guys. and Or because of VSG, I should say. And I don't know, just bless up. <laughs> this message is for Cantoon25-2002. Hello, I came across your channel and I would like to see what your workout plan was after your surgery. I'm planning on getting the surgery done hopefully next month as I just started the process. I love your pictures and how beautiful you look. I'm 230 pounds, a 33 year old female and would love to look like you. Any advice or videos where you have shared your workouts? I carry a lot of fat in my arms and thighs and hips. Hi! So okay I can relate a lot to you know what what brought back a lot of memories was that I used to be 230 pounds for the majority of my life and after I got depressed and I learned that my mother had cancer um, I went all the way up to 270 and that was my highest weight ever recorded so I was 270 I was a 21 year old female and I was going nowhere with my life and nowhere with my health at that time um, in regards to workout videos I can definitely do something for you guys in regards to that I attend Planet Fitness where there is like a code on not recording, you know, when you work out. But I can definitely hook you guys up. I can bring one of my friends and she can like record something for me. So yeah, I mean like this is a already a video suggestion which is a workout plan and I will definitely do that for you. In regards to you carrying a lot of fat in your arms, thighs, and hips, I can relate. That is where the majority of my fat used to be as well. And with that, I am going to address your concerns in my workout video. How about that? That's my promise to you. You know, I am a super picky person and I just don't appreciate the fact that I do not like the lighting in this video. What am I doing? <laughs> I wish you guys could see where I set up this camera and I don't I don't have any idea how it didn't just like fall into the floor. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I'm literally laughing at my like disaster. Hey, I kind of like this angle. You guys, 
I kind of like this angle. Is that like weird? I feel like I'm more like one-on-one -on -one with you guys right now. Damn you guys, I really wish I would have started the video from here. Oh, I'm so disappointed now. Oh my god. At least I have fast reflexes, that's for sure. Should I do the ring light? I feel like the ring light is good and it gives good lighting, but the only thing that I don't appreciate about it is the little like alien eyes that it gives me. Is that weird? Oh my god. Does that bother you that you can see the reflection on my glasses? Would it bother me? Fuck, I'm really like debating like taking off my glasses right now. I think I'm gonna be like this close to you guys. I really wish I would have started the video from this angle. It's so much better. It's more one-on-one. -on -one. Oh well. So let's continue with the Q&A. So this message is from Madison. She says, hey lovely, I've been watching your YouTube videos and I'm so inspired by your journey. You're so gorgeous too. I want to get WSL, which is weight loss surgery for myself, but I'm not sure whether to go bypass or gastric is the way to go. I was just wondering what the process was like for WSL, thank you so much. So I don't think I ever addressed how I really got into weight loss surgery and I don't know if I'm going to mention my doctor. I have mentioned my doctor to people that I know personally, but I don't know if my surgeon is um, comfortable with that. I don't really want to disclose any personal information of his if I don't have, you know, the authority to do that. Even though I don't think he would mind because he'd be <laughs> cashing in. Um, but either way, so I researched a lot, you know, which hospital was the best where I live to get weight loss surgery. I know a lot of people go the route of going all the way to Mexico. That was never an option for me. One, because I am I was only, I believe, 20 when I was getting the surgery. And, you know, on top of already putting my life at risk, I wasn't gonna be going to Mexico and putting my life at risk. Not that, you know, I have anything against that. I, you know, I know many people here on YouTube, I've seen many people that have gone through that route and they're perfectly fine, but that just wasn't my way of doing it. So I just did a bunch of research. I contacted um, different doctors. I went to their seminars, usually surgeons for weight loss surgery, they do seminars, they talk about, you know, how the surgery is, they bring out other patients that have had the surgery, and those patients talk about their experiences, and I just went with the doctor that I, that I felt most comfortable with, and that's who um, I ended up having my surgery with. This message is from Alyssa Lenuncio. Once again, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your names. She writes, Hi, I have recently discovered your YouTube videos. I was sleeved May 14th, 2018. My highest weight was 275 and I'm currently 239. I was just wondering how old you were when you had your surgery. I am 20 and you look about my age. Just wanted to know how your life has changed since you are so young. Has it gotten better, worse? Sorry if this is a bit random. So Alyssa, absolutely not random at all. I was also 20 when I got sleeved. Um, the only thing that I was sleeved in December and you were sleeved two days before my birthday actually, fun fact, because my birthday is May 16th. So my highest weight was 270. So we have a bunch of things in common. We were both sleeved. We were both sleeved when we were 20. We were both on our highest weight, which is around the 270-ish. So damn, we have a lot in common. Um, in regards to how my life has changed, I would definitely say it's changed for the better. I do um, say this a lot in my videos and I go more in depth about how your life is gonna change in regards to your love life, your general health, and just your everyday life routine after you lose so much weight so fast and how people are gonna treat you and the reactions you're gonna get and all that stuff. So it's definitely gotten better <laughs> to summarize everything. So this was actually through Facebook. Now I don't add anybody on Facebook in regards to weight loss. You can definitely follow me on Instagram, which is right here. Um, I don't add anybody on Facebook in regards to my weight loss journey because I do not put anything in regards to weight loss on Facebook. But this was a message that I got from Kimberly Gonzalez and she wrote, Hello, I've watched your YouTube videos. I'm absolutely amazed at seeing your results or your transformation. You look beautiful. I'm actually about to start my pre-op diet tomorrow. Woo -woo. I'm scared, nervous, excited for my new life. I pray I get the results I need. You look the best out of many that I follow. Incredible. I'd love to become friends so we can share, so I can share my journey with you. 
and also be inspired by your pictures. So Kimberly, like I said, I don't have anybody on Facebook, but you are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. In regards to your pre-op diet, I hope that went really well. I know that I was super excited to start my journey, so my pre-op diet went like this. I didn't even think twice about it. I was super pumped. I was drinking those shakes every day. I was never hungry. I was like, my mindset was so into getting this surgery that the pre-op diet just flew by. This is from Nicole. I'm not even gonna pronounce your last name. I know I'm gonna butcher it. I'm sorry, Nicole. She says, I watch your videos on YouTube and would like to be friends. Your story on weight loss is amazing. Once again, I don't follow anybody on Facebook, but you can follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much, Nicole. And I really do hope that your weight loss is going amazing as well. So Grizzly wrote in, hey, I was watching your YouTube videos on your journey. You are so relatable. Thanks for sharing. So I am so happy that I am relatable. I love when I just connect with my viewers. That's, you know, that's one of the main things why I post these videos. Not as much as I should have, but that's why I post these videos. And you're welcome. I share my journey, not only for myself, but for you guys to to see as well that you know our effort for undergoing the surgery is not in vain and we can become the best best selves that we can I don't even know if I worded that right, but I'm gonna go with it. Princess Naomi, okay, she wrote, Hi, I'm one of your subscribers on YouTube. I've been looking on YouTube to find people that have had the weight loss surgery and that talk about things to do, things not to do. Okay, I'm in the process and I'm getting my surgery in three months. I was wondering if you had any advice such as with your skin stretching and how to get the weight off as soon as possible. I'm 275 right now and I'm only 18. I need to look better, I need to better myself ASAP. That's why I looked into consideration about my surgery. Okay, Naomi, now you are two years younger than I was when I actually started to, or one year. You're actually one year younger than I was because I actually really began to look into weight loss surgery when I was 19 and actually had the surgery when I was 20. So you are one year younger than I am. We, are, we were about the same weight you know, the 270s once again. So my advice for skin stretching and all of that, I think I do mention that in when I do my body shots um, or I go over them very vaguely. In regards to having loose skin and all that stuff, that's just something natural that comes with gravity and with physics. Once your body stretches and you lose a bunch of weight, if you do have, you know, that much excess weight, your body's just gonna become a flop when you, you know, when you lose all that weight. So the one thing that I can really say about loose skin and stretchy skin is consistency when it's in regards to working out. Um, you know, waist trainers and stuff like that. I never use waist trainers, but I know some people that I that have and they say that they've had, you know, less stretchy skin. In regards to that, I can't really tell you yes or no because I haven't personally used any waist trainers. The only thing that I used to do way more than I do now was hitting the gym. I would always hit the gym every morning, really work out on, I would focus on waist, I would focus on abs, I would focus on full body, just working out. And I think that's one of the things that mainly helped me, you know, not have as much stretchy skin because I do have loose skin, but it's not that excess loose skin and I think the only way that you can you know try to help yourself and minimize that you know that amount of loose skin is working out 100% oh my god okay no, no no she just wrote to me again oh my god I'm so sorry this is so embarrassing hi okay she wrote me back in August hi but I said had my surgery on July 10th can you share any advice when you started exercising and what type of exercises you perform. So once again, I will be doing a workout video very soon. I had to hit up my girl so she can help me, you know, record those videos. But in regards to what exercises I do and all of that, I will be doing that in the workout video. And um, any advice on when I started exercising? I believe I started working out when my doctor approved me. Um, yeah, of course I started slow, you have to start slow, you can't just hit the gym like right away. I have to go back and look at my videos. I want to say the one month mark, but I'm not 100%. I'm not. <laughs> I like this name. Um, brown eyes, thick thighs, she wrote. Found you on YouTube since I'm seriously considering VSG surgery. Love your videos, your passion, your happiness, and dedication from beginning to end. Seriously inspiring. Thanks so much, girl. Learned a lot. Oh my god, you are so very welcome. <laughs> What's it? When people call me inspiring, that really like... That makes me like a giggly little happy girl. But yeah, I am one of those people where I really like to focus on the positivity of life and just 
how beautiful life is and that we can never take one little thing for granted and I do these videos not because I have to it's because I want to and I want to spread out to you guys that just because we are overweight and we are unhappy with ourselves if we are unhappy with ourselves we can change that we you yourself go look at yourself in the mirror if you aren't happy with yourself tell yourself why question why you're unhappy and ask yourself how you can fix that because there should be no reason why you wake up every day unhappy with yourself and the, that's what I try to promote every time that I post one of these videos I try to promote positivity happiness education motivation that is why I'm here and I am just so happy that so many of you young women young beautiful women contacted me and just like tell me thank you and that I'm inspiring I'm inspiring because you guys make me this way honestly Mwah. besitos Dior Brina, she said, hey girl, I just want to say thank you. I'm getting gastric sleeve surgery next week. Woo woo. And have been watching your videos on YouTube. They are really helping me since I feel a bit nervous, but now have a better idea as to how I'm going to be feeling, which puts me at ease. Thanks again. You are very welcome. And once again, this is why I do these videos. When I was considering VSG myself, I was looking on YouTube every day. I was looking at so many patients for weight loss surgery and how, you know, their post-op or their pre-op diet and their six-month post-op and, you know, just how they were doing. And the reason why I may make these videos and why I started to make them was to help other women like myself when I was like that in the beginning. So, you're welcome. I'm so cheesy, honestly, okay. Soy hermosa, love that nickname. Yes, you are, girl. Hey, sorry about being random, lol, but I just watched your YouTube video and I'm also about to get my surgery done. My current weight is 275. My insurance covers it, thank God. Whoop, whoop. But I wanted to say you look awesome. How did your arms get so skinny? My arms are going to be the hardest for me to look like yours. Okay, so hermosa. So we are in the same situation because my highest weight was 270 and my insurance also covered my surgery. So <laughs> we are the lucky ones because that surgery is pretty expansive, you know? In regards to my arms, I have loose skin in my arms, definitely for sure. You see that jiggle? But I do maintain some muscle. I don't know if you can really tell. There's hardly anything there. How embarrassing. But I used to have more muscle and I haven't been consistent in the gym. That's just because work and school life. But just work out. Honestly, this is what I tell everybody and this is what you guys have to listen to. In regards to hitting those areas where you do not want, you know, excess skin or loose skin, like arms, thighs, stomach. Those are one of the biggest areas that hold fat in our bodies work out work out on those areas hit the weights hit the abs do stretching you know just work out honestly those are gonna be the best results for you first off i just want to clear something out if you are heading into this with the mentality that okay i'm gonna do weight loss and then i'm gonna do loose skin surgery don't think like that you know work out if it's inevitable and you just have so much excess skin and then okay you know go through that route of removing your excess skin don't remove your skin because somebody is telling you that they don't like your skin if you feel comfortable with your skin keep your skin girl i had a past relationship where that man literally told me if you don't have that skin you would look better guess what i'd say with that man he hit the door girl you don't need no man like that if somebody loves you they're gonna love you for you entirely and if somebody doesn't love me because i have excess skin boy get out <laughs> bye so guys that's it that's it i did my q a this has been a video that i've been planning since may and literally now like towards the beginning of october the end the end of september is when i finally got around to doing it <gasps> why do i suck <laughs> but okay guys once again i'm just so happy that you guys find me inspiring and I just want to let out so much positivity into the world because everybody, you know, everybody should be happy with themselves. You should wake up every day, thank God that you are alive because there are so many people who are struggling out there. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!